Madeline Carroll, a name synonymous with grace and talent, left an indelible mark on the film industry during the 1930s and 1940s. Born in England, she became one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood, captivating audiences with her charm and versatility. Carol's career took off in 1935 when she starred in the blockbuster film The 39 Steps, which propelled her to international stardom. Her nuanced portrayal of characters and undeniable screen presence earned her critical acclaim and a legion of fans. Throughout her career, Madeline Carroll appeared in over 60 films, working with some of the most renowned directors and actors of her time. She starred in a range of genres, from romantic comedies to suspenseful thrillers, showcasing her versatility and talent. Carol was not only an accomplished actress, but also a woman of great intellect and wit. She was fluent in several languages, which allowed her to work in both American and European films. Her intelligence and sophistication made her a beloved figure in Hollywood and a role model for aspiring actresses. Madeline Carroll's legacy continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Her contributions to the film industry and her unforgettable performances have left an enduring mark on cinema history. Madeline Carroll was a British actress who made a name for herself in Hollywood during the 1930s and 1940s. She was known for her striking beauty, distinctive voice, and versatile acting skills. Carol starred in a number of successful films, including The 39 Steps and Secret Agent. What sets Madeline Carroll apart from her contemporaries is her unique combination of elegance and accessibility. She was equally at home playing sophisticated, upper-class characters and more down-to-earth, relatable roles. This versatility, along with her undeniable talent and star power, helped her to stand out in a competitive and crowded industry. As you watch this video, you'll learn more about Madeline Carroll's life and career, including some funny, shocking, and sad facts that you might not know. We'd love to hear your stories and memories about this classic star, so please share them in the comments below. What do you think makes Madeline Carroll stand out from her contemporaries? What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic actress? Madeline Carroll, a prominent English actress, was born in West Bromwich, England in 96. She was the eldest of five children in a middle-class family. Her father, an engineer, and her mother, a piano teacher, encouraged her love for the arts from an early age. Madeline started playing the piano at the age of four and showed a keen interest in literature and drama throughout her childhood. Madeline's early education was at a convent school in Handsworth, where she discovered her passion for acting. She participated in various school plays and was known for her exceptional stage presence and natural acting skills. After completing her schooling, she attended the University of Birmingham to study French and German. During her time at university, she continued to act in local theater productions. After graduating, Madeline began her career as a school teacher, but her love for acting never waned. She started auditioning for film roles and was soon discovered by British filmmaker George King. Her early exposure to the craft of acting in school plays and local theater productions proved to be crucial in shaping her career as an actress. Madeline's mentor, George King, played a significant role in her early career. He provided her with opportunities to work in various British films and helped her hone her acting skills. Madeline's natural talent and hard work quickly gained her recognition in the film industry. In conclusion, Madeline Carroll's family, upbringing, and early exposure to acting in school plays and local theater productions had a profound influence on her career as an actress. Her passion for the arts, coupled with the guidance of her mentor, George King, paved the way for her to become a successful actress in the British film industry. Madeline Carroll was born on February 26, 1906, in West Bromwich, England. She was the eldest of four children in a middle-class family. Her father was a school principal, and her mother was a homemaker. Carol's early life was marked by her love for literature and education. She was a bright student and won a scholarship to the University of Birmingham, where she studied French and German. Carol's acting career began in 1928 when she was discovered by a talent scout while on a vacation in France. She started her career on the stage and quickly moved on to film. Her first major film role was in the British film, The Guns of Luz. 
Carol's career took off in the 1930s when she became one of the most popular actresses in Hollywood. She starred in several successful films, including The 39 Steps and Secret Agent. Carol's career was significantly influenced by her political beliefs. She was an outspoken critic of fascism and supported the Republican cause during the Spanish Civil War. In 1940, she became a naturalized American citizen. During World War II, Carol worked for the Red Cross and was involved in several war relief efforts. Carol's personal life was marked by her marriages and divorces. She was married five times and had no children. Her last marriage was to Sterling Hayden, an American actor, from 1947 to 1950. In the 1950s, Carol's career began to decline and she made fewer film appearances. She retired from acting in the 1960s and lived a quiet life in Switzerland. Carol passed away on October 2, 1987, in Marbella, Spain. In summary, Madeline Carroll was a British-American actress born in West Bromwich, England, in 1906. She was discovered in France and became a popular actress in Hollywood in the 1930s. Carroll's career was influenced by her political beliefs, and she was an outspoken critic of fascism. She was married five times and retired from acting in the 1960s. Carol passed away in Spain in 1987. Madeline Carroll, a British actress, discovered her passion for acting during her time at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. Before attending the Academy, she had no interest in acting and was actually studying to become a teacher. However, after being persuaded by her sister to give acting a try, she fell in love with the craft. One pivotal experience for Carol was when she was cast in the play The Devil's Disciple at the Academy. She played the lead role of Judith Anderson and received critical acclaim for her performance. This experience fueled her desire to pursue a career in acting, and she soon began to get offers for film roles. Carol's natural talent and dedication to her craft quickly gained her recognition in the film industry. She became one of the most popular actresses of her time, known for her versatility and ability to play a wide range of roles. Despite her success, Carol remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She once said, I have never considered myself a star. I am an actress and I have been given the chance to play some wonderful roles. Carol's passion for acting and her dedication to her craft is a testament to her enduring legacy in the film industry. She will always be remembered for her captivating performances and her ability to bring characters to life on the big screen. Madeline Carroll in 1938 became the highest paid actress in Hollywood, earning over 250000 Her journey to stardom began when she defied her father's wish for her to become a French teacher and pursued acting instead. Madeline's education at Birmingham University in the UK provided her with a strong foundation, but her passion for acting led her to Hollywood. One notable event in Madeline's career was her appearance on the NBC radio program Chase and Sanborn Hour on October 30, 1938. She shared the stage with Nelson Eddy, Dorothy Lomore, Robert Armbruster, and his orchestra, Edgar Bergen, and Don Amici. Madeline's performance with Eddie, Amici, and Bergen showcased her versatility and talent as an actress. Madeline Carroll's success in Hollywood was well-deserved, and her story serves as an inspiration for those who dare to follow their dreams, even if it means going against the wishes of loved ones. Madeline Carroll, a talented actress, faced many challenges on her path to success. Born in England, she experienced financial struggles early on. Despite these hardships, she remained dedicated to pursuing her dream of becoming an actress. Carroll's resilience was truly tested when she entered the film industry. She encountered skepticism from industry professionals who doubted her abilities due to her lack of experience and connections. However, she refused to let this discourage her. Instead, Carol worked tirelessly to perfect her craft, taking on various roles and studying acting techniques. To overcome the industry's skepticism, Carol developed a creative solution she began producing her own films. This allowed her to showcase her talents and prove her worth as an actress. Through her hard work and determination, Carol eventually earned the respect and recognition she deserved. Despite facing numerous obstacles, Madeline Carroll's story is one of resilience and triumph. She serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors and proves that with dedication and creativity, anyone can overcome adversity and achieve their dreams.
Madeleine Carroll was a prominent British actress who later became a U.S. citizen in 1943. She was the first of Alfred Hitchcock's Ice Cool Blondes and was the highest paid Hollywood actress of her time. After her sister Marguerite was killed in a London bombing raid during World War II, she paused her acting career and worked as a Red Cross nurse in field hospitals. Her bravery earned her the Legion de Honor Award from France. Madeleine Carroll, a British actress, made her breakthrough in the film The 39 Steps directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Carol's performance was praised for her charm and intelligence, which brought a new level of sophistication to Hitchcock's leading ladies. The film's success led to Carol becoming one of the most sought-after actresses in Hollywood. In The Prisoner of Zenda, Carol showcased her versatility, playing dual roles with grace and precision. Critics and collaborators alike were impressed by her ability to create distinct characters, further solidifying her status as a leading lady. Carol's humanitarian efforts during World War II also marked a significant turning point in her career. She worked tirelessly for the Red Cross, raising funds and awareness for the war effort. This dedication earned her respect and admiration from both the public and her peers, adding depth to her image as an actress and a person. After the war, Carol continued to act in films, but her focus shifted towards television and stage work. In the 1950s, she starred in several successful TV series, demonstrating her adaptability and longevity as a performer. Throughout her career, Madeline Carroll left an indelible mark on the film industry with her groundbreaking performances and humanitarian efforts. Her contributions continue to resonate with audiences today, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers. Madeline Carroll, a British actress born in 96, faced significant pressure to stay young in Hollywood. This pressure was common for actresses during that time, as youth and beauty were highly valued in the film industry. Despite this, Carol had a successful career, appearing in numerous films throughout the 1930s and 1940s. In addition to the pressure to maintain her youthful appearance, Carol also dealt with other struggles throughout her life. She was briefly married twice and had a number of high-profile relationships. Additionally, she was a strong-willed individual who was not afraid to speak her mind, which sometimes put her at odds with studio executives and other industry professionals. Despite these challenges, Carol remained dedicated to her craft and continued to work in film and television until her retirement in the 1950s. She passed away in 1987, but her legacy as a trailblazing actress continues to this day. In summary, Madeline Carroll was a talented and accomplished actress who faced significant pressure to stay young in Hollywood. She also dealt with other personal struggles throughout her life, but remained dedicated to her craft and had a successful career in the film industry. Madeline Carroll, a British actress born in the early 19s, was known for her unique approach to acting. She often preferred a more natural and subtle style which differed from the more dramatic acting methods popular during her time. Carol's ability to convey emotions through subtle gestures and facial expressions made her performances compelling and relatable to audiences. Her personal experiences and worldview were often reflected in her work. For instance, during World War II, Carol was deeply moved by the plight of refugees and became actively involved in humanitarian efforts. This activism was later reflected in some of her film roles where she portrayed strong and compassionate women who fought for justice and human rights. Carol's artistic vision was deeply rooted in her belief that acting should be used as a tool to shed light on social issues and to promote positive change. She once said, I have always felt that an actor has a responsibility to use their platform for good. This vision was evident in her work, as she often chose roles that allowed her to explore complex social issues and promote positive messages. Carol's approach to acting was also influenced by her training in the British theatre tradition. She believed in the importance of preparing thoroughly for a role, and often spent hours rehearsing her lines and exploring her character's motivations. This disciplined approach to acting allowed her to deliver nuanced and authentic performances that resonated with audiences. Overall, Madeline Carroll's unique approach to acting, her commitment to using her platform for good, and her disciplined work ethic made her a standout figure in the world of cinema. Her legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers to this day. 
Madeline Carroll, the British actress, passed away just seven days after her, the Prisoner of Zen co-star, Mary Astor. Carroll's career was marked by her distinctive beauty and talent, which led her to become one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood during the 1930s. Born in West Bromwich, England, in 1906, Carroll began her acting career on the stage before transitioning to film in the early 1930s. She quickly gained popularity in British cinema, leading to her introduction to American audiences in The Three Passions. Her performance in the film caught the attention of producer Alexander Korda, who brought her to Hollywood to appear in his film, The Private Life of Henry VIII, for which she received critical acclaim. Carroll's career continued to flourish throughout the 1930s, with notable roles in films such as The Gentle Sex, I Was a Spy, and The 39 Steps. Her on-screen partnership with Ronald Coleman in The Prisoner of Zenda further solidified her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. Despite her success, Carol's personal life was marked by tragedy. She was married six times and had no children. She was also an active humanitarian, using her platform to raise awareness for various causes, including the Spanish Civil War and the plight of refugees during World War II. Carol's career spanned over two decades, and she appeared in over 60 films before her retirement in the 1950s. She passed away in 1987, leaving behind a legacy as a talented and beautiful actress who made a significant impact on Hollywood during the golden age of cinema. Madeline Carroll was a significant actress in the 1930s and 1940s, known for her work in films like The 39 Steps and Secret Agent. She was one of the first actresses to successfully transition from silent films to talkies, which required new acting techniques. Carol's ability to adapt to this change had a big impact on the industry. Carol was also known for her glamorous image and sophisticated style, which influenced fashion trends of the time. According to fashion historian Deirdre Clement, Madeline Carroll's style was a perfect representation of the elegant and sophisticated Hollywood glamour of the 1930s. In terms of storytelling, Carol's roles often challenged traditional gender norms. She played strong, independent women, which was a departure from the more submissive roles that were typical for women in films of that era. This had a lasting impact on the types of roles available to women in the industry. Director Alfred Hitchcock, who worked with Carol on The 39 Steps, said of her, Madeline Carroll was a gifted actress who brought a unique blend of intelligence, grace, and strength to her roles. Her influence can still be seen in the strong, complex female characters that are common in films today. In addition to her impact on the film industry, Carol was also known for her humanitarian work. She was heavily involved in relief efforts during World War II, and was even awarded the Order of the British Empire for her service. Overall, Madeline Carroll was a trailblazer in the film industry, both in terms of her acting techniques and the types of roles she played. Her influence can still be seen in modern films and fashion trends. Madeline Carroll is best known for her work as an actress during the 1930s and 1940s. However, few people know that she made a significant sacrifice during World War II. In 1939, Carroll was in France filming when Germany invaded the country. Instead of returning to England, she decided to stay and help the war effort. She worked as a nurse and also broadcasted anti-Nazi messages over the radio. Tragically, in 1940, her younger sister was killed in a bombing raid in London. Carol was devastated by the loss, but continued her work during the war. Her selfless actions during this time demonstrate the depth of her character and her commitment to making a positive impact on the world. Madeline Carroll, a renowned actress, led a life that extended beyond the silver screen. She had a deep love for animals and was known to keep various pets on the sets of her films. Carol's compassion for animals even led her to become a vegetarian. Apart from her professional life, Carol was also passionate about social causes. She was actively involved in several philanthropic efforts, most notably her work with the Red Cross during World War II. Carol dedicated her time and resources to helping those affected by the war, even going so far as to visit bomb shelters and hospitals to provide comfort and support. Carol's personal values and interests often informed her work as an actress. She was drawn to roles that allowed her to explore complex and nuanced characters, often choosing projects that highlighted social issues and human emotions. Her dedication to her craft 
and her commitment to making a difference in the world left a lasting impact on both the film industry and those she helped along the way. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the remarkable work and lasting legacy of the talented actress Madeline Carroll. Her career spanned various genres, from early talkies to Hitchcock thrillers, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. If you're a fan, please share your favorite roles or memories of her in the comments below. Your engagement helps us create a vibrant community celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. So, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe for more content that cherishes these influential figures. Let's keep the conversation going and appreciate the contributions of artists like Madeline Carroll who have captivated audiences in transcendent time. Let's hear your thoughts.